Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to do a small review with the grammar that we saw last week in Unit 6. So let's start with page 61. Okay, the first part of the grammar. If you look at the table in exercise 3 from, from page 64, I'm, I'm showing you right now with the mouse. Okay, we have the form, okay, we have the grammatical form going to. What do we have to see? We have to think that um, it depends if we are talking about I, okay, I, okay, or he or she, again singular, that's the singular, okay, but it's the third person singular, or we, you, and they, or we, you, and they. That is the plural. Do you remember what singular was? Singular is when we are talking about only one person. And plural is when we are talking about more than one. Two, three, four, five, six people. Okay? So, when we are talking about I, we have to use am for affirmative and I'm not for the negative. That is right here. I am affirmative. I am not negative. If we are talking about he or she, we would say he is for affirmative. She isn't for the negative. And the last part, we go to the plural. We have we are, when we are talking about the affirmative, and you aren't, when we are talking about the negative. Now, where is going to? Okay, we are going into that part of the, of the grammar now. I am going to, okay, and then you have to put the action, the action that you are talking about. So that we make I am going to play football okay that is the first the first the f uh, first four columns on the table one two three and four what about this last column that we have over here well this last column is when are you going to do that when are you going to do that in this case we have next week tomorrow after school at the weekend and on Tuesday. Okay? You would put, do the same with all the with all the days of the week. On Tuesday, on Thursday, on Friday, okay? Now, if you look at the bottom part right here, we have the grammar clue, okay? The yellow the yellow little square that we have on page 61. And it says, we can ask questions with going to. How do we do that? Okay. Are you going to go swimming tomorrow? That's the example they give us. But you could do it with any other action. Are you going to watch TV tomorrow? Or are you going to go water skiing tomorrow? So the question is always produced or done the same way. Another way that we can ask the questions is what are you going to do on Saturday? What are you going to do after school? What are you going to do next week? Okay, that is the way that we would make the questions with going to. I hope this was helpful and um, I'm going to try and make a new video with the uh, next part of the grammar. But I'll see you next class. Bye-bye!